In this video, I show you the best free screen recorder for PC. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure you watch this video right until the end, so the full steps. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. So I'm now on my PC and let's go and continue with this. So I'm going to go and show you where you can go and download the best screen recorder and then how you can go and set it up and go and use it. So the first thing you want to do is go and jump into your web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you would like, and then you want to come to a search engine. Then once you're here, all you want to do is simply go and search for something called OBS. Now you may have heard of OBS before, but do keep watching, I'm showing you the best settings for any type of PC, so do keep watching. So go and search for OBS just like so, and make sure you come to the obsproject.com. So click here, and here we are, and we're going to be using OBS Studio. And as you can see, it does work on Windows, Mac, and Linux. But we want to go and get Windows, of course, so go and click on Windows just here, and it's going to go and drop the download just down here. As you can see, it's around 86 megabytes. So wait for OBS Studio to finish downloading, and then once it has, all you want to do is go and install it just like any other type of software. Then once you've done that, let's go and open it up. So welcome to OBS, now you should have opened it up. So as you can see, at the minute we can't see anything. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to the bottom left where we've got scenes and you want to go and click on the plus button and go and create a new scene. So I'm just going to name this scene 2 for the example. Then all you want to do is once you're in a scene is come into sources and you can right click or use the plus button and then all you want to do is simply go and click on display capture or any type of capture you'd like to use but I'm going to do my screen for the example so I'm going to go and click on display capture then press on that and click OK and boom then you can go and choose which screen you'd like to record then I'm going to go and press OK and you may need to go and resize it depending on the resolution of your monitor. So I'll just go and zoom this in just like so you just hold the red squares and you can move it but you can go and adjust the volumes of your monitor mic and your desktop but let's go and jump into the settings of OBS so come to the bottom right just here and go and click on settings so all you want to do is come to the left hand side panel and simply go and jump straight into output just like so and under output mode I recommend switching to advanced there's a lot more settings we can go and customize and then go and click on recording then all you want to do is come straight down here you can leave the type on standard and then you can go and choose the recording path wherever you'd like your files to be saved so I want mine to be saved in this folder here for the recording format, I personally use MP4, I find it the easiest to edit. Then for the encoder, we're going to have a few different options depending on your graphics card. Now because I have an NVIDIA graphics card, I've got this NVIDIA NVEC option here. Otherwise, just use X264 if you don't have it. Then all you want to do is you can leave rescale output unticked. You want to go and set the rate control to CBR, that means constant bit rate, so it's going to remain a constant recording level. Now for the bit rate, this is quite variable, I set mine at 15,000 because I have a bit of a higher spec PC. Now if you have a lower spec PC, you can lower that down to 10,000 or 5,000. You just need to sort of test these settings, there's going to be a few other settings like this where you need to basically go and test the performance versus the quality. Then let's go and jump into Preset, so here we've got a few different options. So you can either have max quality, which is going to reduce performance, or you can go and have low quality and high performance. Personally, I just go for quality just like that. And for the profile, I just leave that on high. Then we want to go jump into audio. And here you can go and choose your mic and your desktop audio as well. For my desktop audio, I just have my speaker set as that's my output. Um, you can use either of these one or two. And then for the mic, I just use my webcam or I can go and switch to my mic as well. So that's going to be up to you. Then we want to go jump into video again. So the base resolution is what you can actually see just here. And the output scaled resolution is what you're actually going to be recording. So I record in 1080p. Now for the downscale filter, you can have any of these. I just like to have the length ZOS simply because this is the highest quality and I want to make sure everyone can, everyone can see things in my tutorials. But you can try any of these if you're trying to get high performance and less lag on OBS. Then all you want to do is go and choose the low lowest um, bill in there. And for the FPS, I personally go and use 60 if I want to be nice and smooth but like I said before if you're trying to maximize performance then definitely go down to 30. Uh, 30 is absolutely fine. For hotkeys you can go and customize if you want to press a button to go and record and stop recording and all of these awesome features here as well you can go and record them. Then let's come down to advanced. Now here I recommend having process priority normal but you can go and make it higher so basically your processor is going to give priority to OBS to go and make a nice clean recording. For the renderer I just have it on direct 3d11 that's the only option. Now for the colour format, NV12 seems to be best for OBS recording and then I don't really touch any of the other settings and then all you want to do is go and click on apply and press OK and you're ready to go and start recording.